Hey guys, Jeremiah with QA Gaming here, and welcome back to our solo playthrough of Mage Knight the board game. We're getting ready to enter our second night phase, and we've revealed the first city, the Red City, here on this tile. So let's see what we can do. Here's our current offers we've got Frost Bridge, Firebolt, Shield Bash, we've got Underground Travel, Space Bending, and Trimmer. Here's what our source looks like, and we've got some powerful units available in our offer, which we can take advantage of with the artifacts we got in the last couple rounds. Here we can see the crystals our opponent the Rithia has managed to accumulate over the turns. And here's what our play area looks like. Um, I took some of your guys' feedback. I'm going to try to keep the cards a little farther away from the camera so they're easier to read. Uh, go ahead and leave me comments because I do read them. <laughs> so we've got some magic familiars, we've got our guardian golems, and I forgot in the last two rounds that when I used the artifact, the Horn of Wrath, to roll for damage. So before we draw our cards, we're going to go ahead and do that now. So reds and blacks are wounds. And we got a red. Oh, wow. We got two reds. That's unfortunate. So we'll go ahead and we'll remedy the situation here and add two wounds to our deck. So add those in, shuffle them in, and draw up. So before I draw up, we can see the three skills I have. I have Battle Frenzy, Chaos Magic, which has been awesome, and Puppet Master. And we've Puppet Mastered, I guess you could say, this little dude right here so he can come in handy in our next fight. And the common skill offer has some of Arithia's Blood Magic and her Hot Swordsmanship. So let's go ahead and draw our six cards. There's one of our wounds, Chill, Ruthless Coercion, another wound, Concentrate, and Blood Ritual. There's our six. For our starting tactic, we have the option of From the Dusk, Long Night, Midnight Meditation, and Sparing Power. So I think the tactic we're going to take is Midnight Meditation, because we have an unfortunate amount of wounds in our deck, and this will allow us to go ahead and ditch a bunch of them once we've accumulated them, and without having to take a rest action. And hopefully we can then draw those later in the turn once we've accomplished our goal and heal them off some way. So we'll take Midnight Meditation. And Arithia will choose. Sparing Power. So my goal for this round is to go ahead and try to take that city. Um, unfortunately, we have our hand clogged up with all these wound cards from our Horn of Wrath. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of take this turn to chill out and we'll use our Magic Familiars to heal these two wounds. Not the most optimal term, but I think that's what we're going to have to do for now. So we'll heal these two wounds. And I don't think we have anything else we can really do. I want to save this chill for the uh, the siege fight we're going to have. So that's it. We'll have to end our turn there. So not super effective, but we're just kind of building up for our big combat here. So another wound and a swiftness card. Arithia's first turn. White, so she'll get two more. Okay, it's a little bit premature maybe, but I'm going to go ahead and use my Midnight Meditation because I really need some movement cards so I can get over next to that city and start building up for my ultimate attack. So I'm going to use Midnight Meditation so I can shuffle up to five cards from my hand back into my deck and draw that many. So I'm going to definitely put this wound back. I'm not going to need any influence uh, in the near future. Concentration is good, but it's not something I need immediately. These two are a powerful combination for casting... Uh, Lethal Chill, so I'm going to hold on to them, and this is a movement card, so hold on to it. So we'll shuffle these three back in and draw three more. Okay, so our three new cards, another wound, our Ruthless Coercion, and Savage Harvesting. Well, that wasn't ideal, but at least we got one more movement card out of it. Okay. Oh, I've been silly. Uh, Badlands only require four movement, not five. I was thinking of Swamps. So we've got the movement we need. So we'll go ahead and play our Savage Harvesting and our Swiftness for move four. And while we move, we can use Savage Harvesting to ditch a card for Crystal, so we'll go ahead and lose this Ruthless Coercion that we're not going to need this round anyway. And gain a red Crystal. So that will allow us to move next to the city here and through the Badlands. And as we all know, the city never sleeps, so we can see what these enemies are we'll be facing inside. And we've got a Gorgon. That's ugly. An Ice... Oh, some Frost Mages. And... These scary, scary dudes. They're magic immune, 10 armor, 11 attack. Ooh, and they, but they can't be fortified, so. Ooh, that's scary. And since we're in the Red City, all of the enemies gain the Brutal ability. So, that's even more frightening. We'll go ahead and place these guys in the Red City over here. So, we'll go ahead and end our turn. Unfortunately, it looks like the big baddie, the, uh, the gentleman in white over there, will be immune to our chill spell. So that's unfortunate, but he's also unable to be uh, fortified. So we can draw our bow of Stars Dawn. We might be able to take him down. 
But for now, let's go ahead and clean up. So we'll put these two back. Draw back up to our six. Improvis improvisation, haha. -ha. There's our bow, Stars Dawn, so that could be pretty clutch. And our Demolish slash Disintegrate spell. Arithia's turn. March, Stamina, Green, so she'll get one more. So she's moving at a reasonable pace. I missed it last turn, guys. We actually gained a crystal for resting while we were on this mine. So we'll go ahead and gain... Eh, we'll gain a green crystal to vary up our inventory. Okay, guys, I hate to do it, but I think we're going to have to rest again. And the reason is because that is a pretty brutal fortification they have in that city. And my intention is to try to draw our horn and combine that with the ultimate effect of our bow, Stars Dawn, to take out that white enemy with a two-card combo. Um, after that, we can use our chill and disintegrate spells powered by blood ritual to take out the other two so I think I'm just gonna rest and ditch improvisation and uh, this wound here drawing into a mana draw and tranquility let's see if Arithia is gonna give us the time we need here white so two more uh, not, not ideal so we're trying to burn through our deck, so this is, an, again, not an ideal play, but I'm going to go ahead and use Mana Draw with white mana from the source. And I can take a die from the source, set it to any color except gold, and gain two mana tokens of that color. So we'll go ahead and just grab this other white that's in the source, and we're going to set it to green. So we'll gain two green tokens. Let's put this back. And I'll spend one of the green tokens for Tranquility to draw two. There's Concentration and Rage. So let me think about this for a minute. So guys, another thing about our Chaos Magic, we can actually, if we don't use it in our last turn, we can actually just spin the wheel for free and not use the effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that from last turn, because I don't see us using Influence anytime here in the near future. And this will prime us to use a plus to attack if we need it. Okay guys, I've sat here and I've studied this, and I've thought about the different outcomes, and I've thought about what the best way to approach this is, and um, I even actually accidentally made an attack on the city before I realized that they also gain the brutal ability which means I won't be able to uh, just take a couple wounds on the head and keep on trucking so what we're going to do is we're going to keep chill blood ritual and the bow stars dawn we're going to dish these other cards just end our turn here I'll tell you what my my intentions are so with chill um, here let's look, uh, look at the enemies so we can see what I'm talking about So, with uh, Blood Ritual, I can use the more powerful effect of Chill, Lethal Chill. And with that, I can make it so that the Gorgon, or Gorgon sorry, does not attack and reduce her armor down to 1. Um, then the attack from the Ice Mages, I can just have my familiars bravely jump in the way and take. And then the last card in my hand, the Bow Stars Dawn, I can power up my Horn of Wrath if I manage to draw it and take down these uh, golem guys here before they can ever attack. So that's my intention, but to do that we're going to need to draw you know, the Horn of Wrath. So we'll, we'll just see what comes up here, but that's my plan going forward. So we'll ditch these three cards. We'll clean up our play area a little bit. Ditch these two cards we played. Roll the mana die. Blue. And we'll draw back up to our six. Movement card, movement card, crystal mastery. Okay. Let's see if Arithia will give us the time to actually execute our plan here. One, two, blue. Perfect. What's not so perfect is this hand of cards we've drawn. So the movement is good. Actually, I'll tell you what. Um, when we ended our last turn, I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel in our chaos magic. Uh, the attack is good, but... The next spot is the wild spot where we can choose anything. So I'm just going to have that ready there for whatever may may come. Um, I was going to keep one of these movement cards because we'll need two move to get into the city. But since we're on the wild spot of our chaos magic, we can just spin the wheel and uh, take the wild spot for one move and then play any card in our hand sideways for the second point of move to get into the city. And that way we can get rid, as many, get rid of as many cards in our hand as possible to have the most likely chance of drawing our Horn of Wrath out of our deck. So to that end, I'm going to go ahead and just play Crystal Mastery to get out of my hand. 
Uh, gain a crystal to your inventory of the same color you already own. So we'll gain a blue. And I think that's going to be about it. So we'll just go ahead and lose these two cards out of our hand here. And hope for the best. Drawing three. Chivalry. There it is. We did it, boys. And the Banner Command. Ah, oh, it's a great hand. Great hand. Arithia will go through her last two cards. And next turn, she will declare end of round. Okay, guys. This is going to be it. The glorious turn that we've spent all night building our way up to. So the first thing we're going to do is take advantage of this extra little bonus we drew here, the Banner of Command. This is the one I was mentioning earlier. And we're going to use the more powerful version of it. So it says Gain Fame 2, so we get 2 experience, and we can recruit any one unit from the unit offer for free. Okay, so let's do that. So we're using the ultimate ability, so first we'll go ahead and gain 2, uh, two Fame. And then we can pick any unit from the unit offer and get it for free. And what I'd like to do is take these Delphana Masters here, but because they're like the most powerful unit in the game. However... They are immune even to the power of my artifacts. They're they're pretty amazing. So instead, we're going to take these Ultim Guardians here. So the Ultim Guardians are added to our ranks. And the Banner of Command, having used the ultimate power from this artifact, it is now destroyed and removed from the game. Okay, we're now going to go ahead and step into the city. And we'll do so using the power of our Chaos Magic for one move. And we'll play Chivalry Sideways for two move to enter the city. So we step into the city and here out comes this nasty group of fellows here. The good people of the land don't appreciate us attacking their cities so we lose one reputation. Still at zero. Okay so here's what we're up against. We've got the frost mages with six armor, ice resistance, and five ice attack. We have the gorgon with four armor, six attack. She will paralyze us or any unit she hits. And finally, we've got these big baddies here that are magic immune, cannot be fortified, 10 armor, 11 attack. And uh, we also have to remember, all these guys are brutal. So this guy would deal 22 damage if he ever got through. He's got the brutal bonus from being in the city. So the first thing we're going to do is use the power of a blood ritual. And we'll go ahead and use a red crystal from our inventory to power it up, which will cause us to take a wound. There we go. And then we can gain... Three mana tokens of any colors, including non-basic. So I'm going to gain a green, a black, and a blue. If I can find them. There we go. So there's our pile of tokens. And before anything else, we're going to go ahead and use our Bow of Stars Dawn, and we will shatter it. Again, drawing the ultimate power out of our artifact. So each of our range attacks is turned as either doubled or becomes a siege attack of the same element. You may also double siege attacks, but they become range attacks of the same element. So normally range would be useless in a siege, but because these guys can't be fortified, they don't get that bonus. So we'll play our Horn of Wrath for Siege Attack 5, double through the bow for Siege Attack 10. And this time we'll remember to roll for damage. So let's do that. And geez, we take damage again. Okay, so take another wound to our hand. But that is 10 damage destroying this guy. And the Bow of Stars Dawn shatters. Okay. These two baddies are still up, so let's go ahead and use the power of Chill, and we'll cast that using a black and blue, and actually I take that back, we're not casting Chill, we're casting Lethal Chill. Doesn't attack and gets minus four armor, down to a minimum of one. So there's our black token, our blue token, and the Gorgon cannot attack. All that's left are our Ice Mages, and what we're going to do this time is I'm going to power up the Ultim Guardians to use their ability. All units you control gain all resistances this turn. And, uh, yeah, the Ultim Guardians will jump in the way, and since they have seven armor and all resistances, this does nothing to them. Okay, now we get to attack. So, what is our plan here? Yeah, okay, we can do it. So we use our Guardian Golems for two attack. We will use our Battle Frenzy for four more attack, giving us six... And we will use our Puppet for two more attack. We get half of his attack, so that's eight for eight attack. Six of which will defeat the Frost Guardians, or sorry, Frost Mages. And one of the last two points will go ahead and take out the Gorgon, because she's down to one armor. And we've taken over the city, and that was awesome, guys. So if we're taking over the Red City and defeating three enemies, we get three shields placed inside the city, which will give us a nice influence bonus for any interactions we do inside the city. 
So we'll gain 5 fame for the Frost Mages, taking us from 50 to 55. We'll gain 5 fame for the Gorgon, taking us from 55 to 60. And we'll gain 8 fame for these buggers, these golem guys, taking us from 60 to 68 and leveling us up. And the spell I'm going to take is, I think, Firebolt. Or, I'm sorry, the advanced action I'm going to take is Firebolt. So we'll move these down. Firebolt will go on top of our deck. And our spell choices, or I'm sorry, our skill choices, we have these two. Okay, so we have the choice of Spirit Guides, giving us plus one move and plus one block every turn. Or Curse, which will reduce an enemy attack by one or an enemy armor by one, but cannot be used during the siege phase. So neither of these are that impressive for me. I'm sorry, during the ranged combat phase, if they are fortified. Uh, so neither of these are that impressive. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, blood magic Arithia gave us. Because we've built up a unfortunate amount of wounds, and this will actually let us uh, get some use out of them. So we'll add that. These two will go to the skill offer face down. And Arithia will offer her knight movement uh, ability. Not that great. Okay, let's clean up our board here so we have all these tokens are gone. This token is gone. We are still inside the city, so we'll just hang out here. We'll discard these cards. And we'll draw back up to six. There's our Firebolt for three, four, five, and six. Arithia declares end of round just in time. Okay, guys, it's our last turn of the round, and I don't think there's a whole lot we can do here. Uh, we've got a hand full of wounds and one influence card. So the two things we can do in this city are we can recruit any units that are available, and the only ones available in the city are the Dolphana Masters costing 13 influence, or we can buy an artifact because it's the Red City, which will cost us 12 influence. We get three from our three shields. We have zero for our reputation. And then we could go uh, four, five, six, playing the sideways, seven, eight, using our new blood magic for eight influence, which unfortunately is not enough to do anything. So instead, we're just going to go ahead and play this Firebolt from our hand for a red crystal. I think we're going to end our turn. So there's that red crystal. And, uh,. Yeah, I think that's all we can do. So we're going to end our turn. We'll stack all this stuff back up and prepare for the last day phase. Uh, these guys all get ready back up. The greedy familiars demand more crystals, so we'll give them a, one of our mini red crystals. Well, it was tricky, but we set a goal and we managed to do it. We wanted to take the castle by the end of the round, and that's exactly what we did. So let's we see. Uh, Arithia's going to take Shield Bash into her uh, deck. She will gain a green crystal from Trimmer. These will get moved down. Uh, the card we revealed last time was Magic Talent, which is a very good card in the Advanced Action Offer. And then we also got a Temporal Portal. A lot of moving cards coming up. The new spell is Flame Wall, Versatile Attack card. And let's see what new units we get. Amotep Gunners. Thugs. And the Ice Mages we just beat up. Uh, the... Monastery will now teach us the ancient and forbidden art of <laughs> in need. Okay. And as the sun rises, our source looks like a green, a blue, and a gold.